Hello everyone, welcome to Peach Dish Discovery. I'm Katie, I'm the nutritionist for Peach Dish, and today we're getting into the root of one of our favorite root vegetables, carrots. <laughs> Like I said, carrot is a root vegetable and it's related to parsnips, parsley, and celery. You may be familiar with the wild carrot. It's pretty common here in the US. It's known as Queen Anne's lace. So carrots come in a wide variety of colors and based on the colors, you can loosely group them into two different cultivars. Um, these are the Eastern cultivars, the yellow and the purple, and then the orange ones are Western cultivars. What's a cultivar, you may ask? Well, it's simply a variety of a natural species, like a carrot, um, that's been cultivated. Our eastern variety, or cultivars, are purple and yellow, like I said, um, and they were the first uh, varieties that came about, and they were only purple or yellow. The orange ones didn't come about until much, much, much later. Our orange guys right here uh, didn't appear until the 17th century, so rumor has it that the Dutch growers grew um, some orange varieties in order to honor the royal Dutch family, whose family color was orange. Um, it's unclear whether this is true or not. It is, however, worth noting that our orange cultivars are a little bit sweeter than the purple or yellow varieties. So that could have played a part. So who knows? Um, I know that I personally would be quite honored if somebody cultivated a completely new color of one of my favorite vegetables. Carrots are the perfect excuse to talk about carotenoids. So the word carotenoid literally comes from the Latin word for carrot. Um, so that's an easy way to remember that carrots are full of carotenoids. What is a carotenoid? Carotenoid is the name of a wide class of phytochemicals. Um, so we'll find them in plants and we eat them when we eat our vegetables and fruits, like carrots. Wait, carrots not a fruit. A carotenoid is the name for a wide class of phytochemicals uh, naturally found in plants and fruits that we eat every day, hopefully. They perform several roles in the body. Um, some of them are antioxidant and anti-inflammatory. There are certain carotenoids that can be converted in the body to a usable form of vitamin A, or retinol, um, which is great for vision health and immunity and lots of other things like that. One cup of carrots has the vitamin A equivalent of 113% of your daily value. But it's important to remember that carotenoids and vitamin A are fat-soluble vitamins, so you'll want to enjoy these with some fat, like maybe like ranch dip, or roast them in some oil. You are what you eat, or at least the same color as what you eat if you eat a lot of carrots. Um, there's a certain condition called keratinemia, where if you eat lots and lots of carrots, your skin will actually start to turn like a yellowish orange color. You would have to eat uh, several cups of carrots a day for a long period of time to see these sort of results, um, and you'd start to see them in the palm of in the palms of your hands. And while it may be true that eating lots of carrots is good for your vision and eye health, uh, it's not necessarily true that it'll help your night vision. So don't put away your night vision goggles just yet. This story came about from British World War II propaganda in which they said that their pilots were so skilled because they ate lots of carrots and had really good night vision. Um, it was really just a cover up uh, because they had really advanced radar technology and they didn't want anybody to find out. The government may have chosen carrots because they had a huge surplus during the war, so they were urging lots of people to eat more carrots. So you're probably familiar with baby carrots. Uh, so baby carrots aren't grown like this. I know that's pretty shocking. Uh, they actually come from big carrots, and they're cut and then tumbled and smoothed out into little bite-sized pieces that are perfect for your ranch or hummus dip. The story behind these guys is actually really cool. In the 80s, a California farmer was really annoyed that all of his uglier carrots kept getting tossed away and wasted. So he invented these baby carrots and began to sell them in supermarkets. This actually caused carrot consumption to double over the next 
two decades. Now these days, baby carrots make up like 70% of total carrot cells in grocery stores. So there's lots of yummy ways to enjoy carrots. Uh, when preparing carrots, you don't necessarily need to peel them. Uh, you do need to wash them because they did come out of the ground. You can, however, peel them if you want them to look a little bit prettier, but it's not necessary. One of our favorite ways to enjoy carrots is to slice them up and then toss them with a little oil, salt and pepper, and roast them in the oven until they're nice and tender. Carrots also frequent our kitchen in the form of mirepoix, where it's coupled with some chopped celery and some chopped onion. Now this is a classic French base for things like soups or stews or braises. One of our favorite recipes that features the mirepoix base is Zeb Stevenson's Chicken and Dumplings. It's a very hearty, comforting meal and it's super easy to put together. <laughs> If you can find carrots with the tops attached, take it, but don't waste them. They're perfectly edible. We like to put them in a pesto. It's really simple. We'll take our carrot greens, of course. We'll also put in some fresh herbs, like basil's one of our favorites. Um, also some nuts, like pine nuts or walnuts, um, olive oil, parmesan, and lots and lots of garlic. You'll put that in the food processor and pulse it around until it's nice and smooth. And you can use that in dips, or you can use it in pasta, of course, on pizza. It's, it's quite delicious, and it's very versatile. If you want to take your pesto to the next level, you can stir it in with some Greek yogurt, and you have a nice dip for your carrots. Now it's time for fun facts. The heaviest carrot ever recorded was 22 pounds, and that's about the weight of my leg. The record for the world's longest carrot uh, is held by a guy in the UK. Uh, he also holds the record for longest radish and longest beet, so that's a pretty cool hobby. And if you're curious, the length of the carrot was 20 feet, and that's much, much longer than my leg. All right, that's all I got today about carrots. If you'd like to learn more recipes uh, that feature carrots, visit peachdish.com. Um, but otherwise, thanks for tuning in. We'll see you again soon. Peach out, y'all. Bye.